Hello, uh, this is uh, update to my uh, car engine uh, audio system. So I have, I record this uh, car engine and I edit it uh, in Reaper. I use exactly this mic, which is uh, Shure SM58, two of them. So I got stereo file. And I record engine on every gear, including neutral, uh, with f five or four different uh, speeds, um, different RPMs of the engine. So after I uh, clean it and um, and edit it and select the loop, seamless loop, that's that's what I have. So this is neutral. This is second. That's third one. Fourth one, I guess. Or this one is fourth one. Um, I got four different gears. And because I had two microphones and I mounted it in different places, uh, next to the next to the engine, one sounds differently. This one's closer to the engine, and this one is kind of farther to the engine. This one was closer to the ground and closer to the uh, gear box, I guess. So I added it, and then I use um, Isotop RX by Ozon, and since I recorded in 96 kilo um, hertz, which is a lot. I I had this information above 30 k hertz, which is above human hearing, but but it gives me this this uh, periodical sounds. I have no idea what it is. I cannot hear it, but I can see it in the in the engine, and based on those things. I select uh, 16 of them on every every uh, sample I have and I took the length of it and I divide it by I inverse it so I one uh, I divide one for this value so I finally had um, frequency so I name every sound at the end of the sound. I name it with frequency. So the first one is one is 1399. Second one is 3272, and so on. And I import it to to Unreal, and I got separate near and far far sounds. And every sound has the name of it. Okay, so this is sound cue. And in sound queue, I don't have all my sounds directly plugged to it. I have in my engine sound, I have an uh, array of the sounds. And I am changing it dynamically with wave parameter. Uh, because I want to have different sets of sound on different gear. So uh, on the first gear, these sounds are completely different than on the second gear, third gear, and so on. Then I got continuous modulator. It isn't set up yet, but um, every continuous modulator have a different parameter uh, because I need to change every sound. Every sound has different frequency, different RPM. So I need to change the pitch of every sound differently than other sound. So when it's basically it works like this, when this sound, um, when the engine goes from this sound to this sound, I need to pitch this sound up to reach this sound. Second sound need to start with uh, as pitched down and then go up. So they need they the frequency of those sound between going from the first sound to the second one second one has to be the same all the time so that's why i need those 
uh, frequencies at the end of the of the name to do the math properly. And I did here. I have my uh, array of the sounds, and I'm getting a name of it, and I'm getting the last four digits of it, and I'm changing it to um, float. And as you can see, this one is fifth. So fifth is um, 1460. Yeah, it is 1460. So I can do the math here. I mean, algorithms can, can do the math here. And because I have uh, direct param mode, I can directly remap those frequencies to to change pitch according uh, to what it should be. Of course, I have crossfade by param. It changes the volume between between the um, uh, the sounds, and it it is the same uh, uh, parameter for all, all the sounds. This one is set up. It is pretty simple, but I didn't set up. Uh, pitch yet and here uh, this is my blueprint to do it it is uh, actor component and I attach it to the classic uh, default uh, Unreal Engine vehicle blueprint and I attach it here and it reads all the values from the vehicle blueprint and it does the math here what I what I have here is I have also an array of values and this is for changing of how big range of sounds from there are four sounds on every gear so how many of those sounds you want to have on one gear do you want to have from first first sound to the fourth sound go full range or maybe you want to go for only from third sound to the fourth sound only two sounds uh, on every gear either you want to have only uh, the top two uh, speeds on every gear or you want to have full range of uh, sound speeds i know it's it's pretty complicated even for me i'm, I'm still f figuring out how to do it properly and uh, as um, easy as possible yeah but you have this um, array of values to control the sound kind of independently on the actual RPM. So let me show you how it sounds. It doesn't sound great yet because it doesn't have a doesn't have a pitch value. Okay, so what I want to do with the system is uh, to be as as advanced as possible. So I'm taking into account gears, RPMs, but I also want to um, make different sounds for when when car is stopping, when we are crashing on something, or when car is in the air, or car is upside down, or maybe you are still running but you not uh, press gas anymore, or you or you press the brake, or all of those factors that real cars uh, have. Uh, so I'm trying to build the system so when I record another sounds of another car and uh, edit it properly and name it with frequency of every sound at the end, and and I put it here, the system, this will read uh, the values, the frequency of every sound, and the algorithms will do the math, and it will work for every sound uh, I will record. That's my goal, so I don't have to put it uh, by hand. And yeah, that's my that's my engine sound audio system I'm working on. I hope you like this video. And if you audio game guys or just game game people have any um, suggestions or comments or questions, 
please let me know in the in the comments and thanks for watching see ya